This is video TR-15Z, where I'll prove the values I've provided for large, medium, and small values for sine and cosine. Z videos cover supplemental material that probably isn't mandatory for a trig class, but might be interesting or enlightening. So I said in the main video that the values for large, medium, and small are square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, and 1 half. Let's prove these are the true values. We'll start with the small value. Let's draw a Sokotoa triangle on a unit circle with a standard position angle of pi over 6, or 30 degrees. The length of the red line represents the sine of 30 degrees. I told you it was 1 half, but let's see. We'll label it S for small right now. We know the hypotenuse is length 1 since it's also the radius of the unit circle and we don't know the length of blue. For the angles, we know the right angle, of course, and we're given that the central angle is 30 degrees. Since the interior angles of a triangle add up to pi radians, or 180 degrees, the remaining angle must be 60 degrees. So far, so good. Now, let's take our triangle and create a mirror image across the x-axis. Now we have a large triangle whose sides are yellow, yellow, red. These two angles are each 60 degrees, and this combined angle is also 60 degrees. This makes the large triangle an equilateral triangle, meaning all of the sides are the same length. We know two of the lengths are 1, so this third side, which is 2s, must also be 1. 2s equals 1, so s, the small number, must be 1 half. Now let's find the large number, whose distance is the length of the blue line. I'll label it L for large. We just need the Pythagorean theorem. We have a right triangle, and we know two of its sides. 1 squared equals 1 half squared plus L squared. This is quite literally area of yellow equals area of red plus area of blue. So we can simplify the equation and isolate L squared, which equals 3 fourths. Take the square root of both sides, and L equals square root of 3 fourths. Distribute the radical to numerator and denominator, and simplify the denominator to get square root of 3 over 2, which is the large number. For the medium number, which is associated with 45 degree angles, we'll label the length m for medium, and draw a new triangle. We know the hypotenuse is 1, since we're on a unit circle, and the central angle is 45 degrees. The angle at the top must also be 45 degrees, since the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So the triangle is an isosceles triangle, and the sides opposite the congruent angles are congruent. So we can label both the blue and the red sides m. So using the Pythagorean theorem again, we get 1 squared equals m squared plus m squared. Simplifying, we get 1 equals 2m squared. To isolate the variable m, divide both sides by 2. Rearranging, we get m squared equals 1 half, so m equals square root of 1 half. We distribute the radical to numerator and denominator, and we simplify to get m equals 1 over square root of 2. Well, this is numerically correct, but your instructor will almost certainly not allow you to keep a radical in the denominator. To rationalize the fraction, we multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of 2 to get square root of 2 over 2, which is the value of the medium number. So by using only a unit circle, knowledge that the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and the Pythagorean theorem, we're able to prove the common sine and cosine values of the square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, and 1 half.